All right, now for all those folks rocking in a spin on your Samsung Galaxy phone, Galaxy Note or tablet, here I've got some cool tips and tricks. So let's dive right in. The first one is press and drag to select text. Now let's say you're using your S Pen and scrolling through a news article or any other data on the phone. If you want to copy something there, all you need to do is press and hold this button on the S Pen and drag the pen's point on the text that you want to copy. As simple as that. You'll be able to copy the text in a Jiffy. Second one is pin to screen. Now for example, let's say you want to calculate something from the data you have it on the screen. We usually open the calculator in split screen view so that we can calculate looking at the data in the second screen. But if you have an S Pen, we can easily pin that portion of the data on the screen, open the calculator and do the calculations. Let me show you how. Now let's say we have got some data on this page. Now I want to sum or multiply something from this data. All I need to do is tap on the air command, tap on smart select, select the portion of the screen you want to pin. The moment you select it, you will see this option pin insert. I'll tap on this. As you can see now, this portion is readily available for me on the screen. I can go back to the home screen, open calculator and do the rest of it. This is how pin to screen will be really useful. Now moving on to the third one. If you're bored of this air commands menu style, we will be able to change it using a module called Pentastic on GoodLock application. Now for this, the GoodLock application has to be available in your country. If it is not available, you can also use FindLock to download the APKs and then use this particular module. Now let me open GoodLock. We have got a module here called Pentastic. I'll just tap on this. As you can see, we have got different menu styles over here. We have got compact, line, circle, retro, and they make this menu look fantastic. We can also customize more stuff here. You can see we have pointer options. We have got sound. Here we also have an option to customize double tap shortcut. As you can see, it says choose what happens when you hold down the pen button and double tap the screen. Let me tap on this. As you can see, I have a toggle to turn it on and I can select any particular S Pen feature or any application. Let's say for example, I select screen right option here. Now, as in when I press and hold on this button on the S Pen and double tap on the screen, the screen right option will open. Likewise, you can select any third party applications as well. That is just amazing. Moving on to the fourth one, we can create video live messages using your S Pen. This option is available right there on Air Actions menu. There is an option called live messages in the previous generations of the phone, we were able to create only a live message on a still image, but now we are able to create live messages on videos as well. All you need to do is open the camera here, tap and hold on the shutter button to record the video. Once you're done recording, we will be able to create live messages. We can write on the screen right here on this video file. This is a fantastic feature to create video live messages. Apart from this, we can also create live messages using the images from the gallery or by taking pictures right here on the camera application. Next one is creating a GIF file using your S Pen. Now let's say you're watching a video on YouTube and you want to create a GIF file out of it. You can easily do that. All you need to do is just play the video on YouTube, tap on the air commands menu, tap on smart select. Here we have got an option GIF or GIF. I just tap on this. As you can see, I have record option and I can also select the quality of the GIF I'm going to create. I can select high quality. Now I'll just tap on record. This can record up to 15 seconds here. If you want to stop at any time, you can just tap on stop. That is fantastic, right? It's a cool feature that we have on Galaxy phones with S Pen. The last step is using S Pen on your Samsung clock application to start or stop the stopwatch. Let me show you how that works. Let's open Samsung clock application. We have stopwatch here. Now, if the S Pen is out of the phone, just tap on S Pen button to start the stopwatch. When the stopwatch is running, you can again tap on the button on the S Pen to go to the next lap. That is something we can do using the S Pen here. These are some of the useful S Pen features offered by Samsung. This is just the part one of this video. I will be making another video with some more tips and tricks for S Pen. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button if you find this video useful. There are many more tips and tricks videos on the channel. Go ahead and check them out. And if you know any tips and tricks for your S Pen, do let me know that in the comment section below. Maybe I can include them in the upcoming part two of this video. That's about it. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.